What is up guys, it is Predator here, and this is going to be a breakdown of all the SMGs and Black Ops do, telling me what I think of each of them, and what I think the best attachments are, and of course which one I think is the best one. So keep in mind this is all mainly opinion, you guys can have your own opinion, but I will be giving you, I will be telling you basically what all of them feel like, and uh, you know, which one I think feels the best, because in my opinion, a gun that feels good is, is the best gun for you. So, First off, let's start this off with the MP7. This is not the same MP7 from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, we'll probably compare a lot of these guns to the Modern Warfare 3, but I would actually not compare this to the MP7 from Modern Warfare 3. Because it definitely does have a lot of reach. Now, the iron sights, uh, I think the iron sights are pretty damn good. The fire rate is better than the one in Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion. And, um, like I said, the recoil is definitely quite a bit worse. Um, on the upside though, the recoil does go up, it does not go down, so that is quite a bit better than uh, a gun that goes, uh, a gun with recoil that goes off to the side, obviously. So the recoil is pretty much controllable with this gun. Now, the attachments I'm using are the fast mag and the silencer. The silencer is pretty generic for all the SMGs. I would always recommend this um, that attachment for pretty much every single SMG in the game. And fast mag. Honestly, it depends which one you prefer, fast mag or extended mag, it doesn't really matter, they're both great. Now, next weapon here is the PDW, something or other, uh, I'm not no exactly prisoners. sure what the numbers are in it, but I know it's the PDW something. Um, the attachments I have on it right now are the laser sight and uh, silence. The reason I don't put extended clip or fast mag on it is because it has um, a clip of 50 rounds. Now that is quite a big clip. Uh, I'd like to compare it to the P90 from Modern Warfare 3. I think actually this clip is bigger than the P90 from Modern Warfare 3. But it's got average iron types, you know, if you want to slap it on a red dot on it. And uh, I Enemy that's kind of can usually Smoked. do with the iron sights. But like I said, it has a huge Cover. clip. I would not recommend fast mag or extended clip on it. Um, you don't have to put laser sight on it. Like I said, you can have a full iron sights. Another good attachment is that laser sight might be full waiting orders. Now the next weapon here is the Vector. It has um, a pretty good fire rate. The PDW, by the way, the fire rate isn't that great, but on this gun, this gun kind of reminds me of the Modern Warfare 3 the UMP, except for the best recoil. This gun has absolute amazing recoil. Hardly, hardly I would say. So, the iron sights are okay. I mean, they're manageable. They could be better, but they definitely could be worse. I'm using a silencer and a fast mag on this gun because it, it only has a clip of 36 rounds and yeah, so you, you will have to reload fairly often with this weapon. We're sending for the fast mags that we're definitely recommend and of course the silencer because it is an SMG. So, so far this is actually my favorite weapon in this game. So, I would definitely recommend using it, and moving on to the MSMC. Now, a lot of people say this is the best submachine gun in this game. Now, I would agree to that to some extent. It does have really good recoil, uh, a, ver a fairly average fire rate. I would actually compare this gun to the MP7 from Modern Warfare 3. Um, I guess it has slightly more recoil, but the recoil pattern is fairly good. Stitched them now, the biggest downside to this weapon is the mag size. Now, this, this gun has a mag of 30 rounds, which Transitioning. burns through very, very, very fast for SMG. So, fast mag or extended clip are required. I would not... Um... I would, not, I would never want to use those in this gun. Um, silencer is also really good, so... You might actually want to rock three attachments. Uh, the three attachments while we on this weapon. Cover so me, reloading! Maybe get the three uh, three uh, three uh, and then you can have an But other than the mag size, this is a pretty good gun, but in my opinion, I don't think it's as good as the Vector. Now, moving on. Now, this is um, probably the weirdest SMG, the most different, the odd one of the punch, I guess you could say. Uh, it's actually a three round burst SMG, so going into this, I was actually using the reflex sight on it and the silencer because usually, usually with burst weapons, you want to be fairly accurate. Like, um, in Modern Warfare, 
you pretty much always wanted to use a red dot on the Down. weapons, at least I did anyway. I always use a red dot on the M16 or the Type 95. So this gun is definitely different. I wouldn't even recommend using the red dot on it. But it actually shoots the burst really, really fast, so practically you can just tap the trigger and it is practically an automatic weapon. I'm not even joking. This gun is actually like, really good. Uh, I think it feels really good. Anyway. Uh, lower amounts of recoil is the first fire weapon, except it shoots extremely, extremely fast. So definitely, probably, um, out of all the SMGs, it's probably the best at range. And it's got a fairly decent magazine size. I might recommend it for being a fast magazine. Now. The last SMG. Now this gun, this gun's very good. I actually really, it, it surprised me. Um, it might not, I might actually like it better than the Vector because it does have a really, really good fast fire rate. Very, very fast. Um, it reloads actually. The reload is very fast. So instead of fast mag, you might actually want to do extended clips so you can have a fast reload and a large magazine because this gun burns through ammo like no man's business. This is. Uh, I might compare this to the PM9 from Modern Warfare 3, except it definitely has a lot less recoil, so I'd probably actually compare this gun to the PP90. The PP90 was actually my favorite SMG from Modern Warfare 3, so, um, this gun, this, this gun is definitely very good. The only downside I can find to it is that it's unlocked fairly late, so when you prestige, you might want to use a token to permanently unlock it if you really enjoy it. But other than that, you know, once you're done prestiging, it's a very good weapon to use. And, um, silencer and fast mag, or silencer and extended clip all the way, baby. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, a like would be very much appreciated. Uh, if you can hear that thing outside, there's actually, like, uh, construction going on outside, so that's why you might be able to hear some kind of machine going. Uh, apologize for that. But... Anyway, uh, the reason I used combat training clips for this video was simply just because um, I'm actually at my mom's house for um, this weekend. So, unfortunately, her TV is high. De uh, it's high definition. That's that's not a problem, obviously. But the TV, it's it's kind of a bad response time. So. Uh, I, I couldn't really get clips online. Plus, I haven't even unlocked all of these weapons. I'm still like for level 40. But anyway. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day. Peace.